You're live. Hey guys, it's Dr. Emmer. We're here on, is it Friday? Oh my God, it's Friday today. And we are gonna do some female skin tightening. Turn to the right. We have one of my beautiful patients here who just noticed some softness in her skin and she wants it more lifted. You can go the surgical route and do a facelift. You can do threads like we're gonna do here today with InstaLift, which you can see on this here, it tells you that there's cones on the threads. You can see these little cones right here in the picture. We're measuring out where we wanna lift. And for her, we're gonna go a little bit higher on the vector to get a nice kind of curved lift. Um, that's our goal for her today. I'm measuring out exactly where those vectors are gonna be um, and this is perfect. Yeah, that's great. And then what we're gonna do in the lower phase, turn a little bit more there. We're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna measure it out. And the goal here is just to tighten here and go along the jaw. So we're using our marking and we have a very specific way to do this. We mark, then we numb. And this marking is by far, just so you guys know, the most important part of this treatment. If the marking is not done right, a person can look lopsided, asymmetric, have issues. We never want those issues. We want improvements. So our goal here is to pull this back and really tighten it along this periareolar uh, area and also around the jawline. We're literally gonna do what I call pan facial lifting. We call this the mega lift. This is the mega lift. So we're gonna turn because we're adding more threads than people normally do. I'm giving you, I want more threads for you. I wanna cover all bases, I want her to look great. So turn this way. So, you know, normally when you do a facelift, for example, people pull back. That's not the best way to do a lift. We want vertical vectors. So you want it to be more natural. In the old days, it was this windblown look, right? Like this, we don't want that. So we wanna lift. And how InstaLift works is it's made of a suture material that has cones on it and is also made of a sugar. So it dissolves into the skin, but also grabs onto the skin uh, more readily and softer than a PDO. But the funny thing is I really like the PDOs up here in the brow. So it just depends on where we're going and how we're gonna do it. For her to get the most sort of collagen production, she's really gonna want the InstaLift um, for the, her mid and lower face, and then she's gonna want probably PDOs in the brow because that's gonna give her the most for her specific demands. No, I'm kidding. Her specific requests. <laughs> you know, it's all about anti-aging, you guys. We know no one can stop that process from occurring. We just can't stop aging no matter what. I'm turning 40 this year and I'm getting my eyelids done. Okay, that's just gonna happen. But we can prevent and slow it down by doing things like this. This is a treatment that would be done once every year or two. How long should she um, expect her results to last? Once a year or two, <laughs> as we just said. Let me see. Perfect. So if you guys see what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this and we're gonna elevate it upward. Her face is really angled, it's nice and shapely. So our mega lift, which traditionally would go in this direction is gonna go up like that. So we can give her more of a lifting in this direction and more of a tightening in that direction. So the next part we're gonna do is numb. And over the next six to 12 weeks, she's really gonna notice a lot of tightening in these areas. At the beginning, you don't see it as much. I'm gonna feel a little bit of burning and stinging as I put the numbing in, but she's super strong. Little pinches, we have to numb each area, just a small amount, and then I let it sit for a little bit. And just so you guys know, in the old days, we used to do just topical, and it just was too painful. So I find, and also for the cones, I think they get in and grab onto the skin better when there's just a little bit of fluid that's there. So we numb these areas slightly. Okay, little pinches, she's doing phenomenal. You can tell she's a superwoman because these don't feel great, especially in this area by the nose, it hurts a little bit. Little pinch, last one. Where is this different than fillers? 
So fillers, you guys volumize. These are building collagen and they're tightening the skin. When we go to pass the marking treatment, I will show you guys what the, um, what they look like and how they work. They literally go under the skin and grab onto the skin to lift it. And in its place, they build collagen. So fillers can lift a little bit, but their primary purpose, and you guys know this, is volume and shaping. So if we wanted to give her a cheekbone or we wanted to define her jawline a little bit more, we could use volume. But if we want to prevent it from sagging, you're doing great, we're almost done on this side. If we want to prevent it from sagging, and we want to just overall lift the face, you can do these treatments or energy-based treatments like a Morpheus microneedling or uh, threads or thermogel therapy, all energy-based treatments. You're not going to get that from a filler. All right, so this side is done. You can see it looks really swollen right now, but we're going to let the skin absorb all the fluid. The real big positivity of doing this is there's epinephrine in the numbing, so she doesn't bruise that much. It looks like a lot's going to be done, but at all, in all honesty, it's very minimal. Okay, other side, I'm going to torture you one more time, then you're not going to have to be tortured anymore. How so soon sad. should I get threads? Listen, it's, it's not about, well, you can do it immediately if you want. Call us at appointments at jasonmrmd.com. But what I would tell you is when you start to notice the sagging, and some people that's earlier than others, let's say you lost 20 pounds and your skin starts to be a little looser. You might want some volume. You also might, um, you also might want some threads to tighten the skin. So it's not always about, I have young patients who have kids and they just went up and down in weight. And the only option for them, one more here, is to tighten the skin and start tightening it. So it's not really an age thing as much as it is what you actually look like and how your skin feels. Some people's skin is much thinner and it's just, it moves a lot and this prevents it. I mean, she is beautiful. She doesn't really need it per se, but she's starting to see some sagging in the lower face. She wants it to be tighter, but she doesn't want to look artificial. She wants it to look natural. And to do, to do that, we're gonna do these treatments plus microneedling radio frequency. Is That's, that sculpture right now? No, this is numbing medicine. This is just going into the spots we're gonna do with the InstaLift. We're here today doing threading of the face. We're gonna call this a mega lift, where we're literally going to lift her entire mid and lower face with numerous threads. Okay, so you can see all the little dots here are pretty much done. I'm just gonna put a teeny bit more in. And then I'm gonna let her sit for a few minutes. Perfect. I wanna let the swelling go down a little. Okay, there's fluid that's there, beautiful. Cool, that's it. Okay, and then basically what you guys, we would do is we're gonna use this to pull up and tighten. And then long-term we would do a little filler in the mid face, around the mouth, temple area to lift the brow. Those are facial contouring areas where we get that without a trace lift. This is basically gonna be her preventative facelift treatment, internal tightening. Let me show them again one more time, the ruler really quick, uh, if you don't mind, thank you so much. This is the InstaLift procedure, and you guys can see here on the ruler, it has in it the different cones, A12 and 16. We do the 16s on the body, we do the eights on the face, and we're just gonna tighten that area. So stay tuned while the numbing settles in, We'll bring you back in a few minutes when we actually lift. What, what were you gonna say? I was gonna ask you, someone's asking after threading, is there no problem getting um, microneedling radio frequency? You do it all down at the same time. We love doing it, you can do it anytime. Get that microneedling radio frequency every two to three months, no matter what. See you in a minute. All right, let's lay her down.